I am here at the Bio Sculpture Gel booth, or the Bio Gel, correct? Bio, is it just Bio Sculpture Gel or Bio Gel? So, Bio Sculpture is the umbrella name. Um, under Bio Sculpture, we have Bio Gel, which is your gel in a jar, and then we also have the Evo line, which is gel in a bottle. Um, and then we are coming out with two new ranges, one being Ethos, which is all natural nail treatments, and then Gemini, which is um, a nourishing nail polish. Which comes in the jar like this. With the and tell us about your Ethos, and this is the gel polish line, correct? So the Evo is our gel polish line. Um, both our Evo and our Bioscope Biogel is 10 free, vegan, hypoallergenic, non toxic. Um, so it's really safe to use, very natural to use. The product was actually made and um, is made and manufactured in South Africa. The company was established in 1988. So we're known as the original Silk Off Gel and as well as the original Color Gel. So we really started, the Evo line is one of our newer gel lines that came out. So it's just to kind of help the market, especially if they want to switch from a gel in a bottle to a more sustainable, stronger product. It's a good transition to go from an Evo into a bio gel line. Um, so anyone who, or you could just use the one or just the other one. You don't have to use both. So it really is up to the salon what their needs are. Um, some salons will do both, some salons will only do one, it really is up to the salon. And, and tell us about um, your other product lines, I'm interested. The Ethos and the Gemini? Yes. Okay, so Ethos and Gemini is actually brand new to us, it's just being launched um, mid-February. The Ethos is all natural, also um, tin free vegan, all of that good stuff. Um, and then pretty much our ethos range is going to consist of a kiwi scrub, which is a cuticle exfoliator, so it's going to help clean up the cuticle line. Um, it also has a vitamin dose, an almond oil, and then it's going to have four different bases for the natural nail. Depending on the nail type itself, um, you would choose one of the four bases that's going to be best for your nail. So as we know, everyone has different nail types. Some people have dry nails, so for the dry nails, we have a lavender base. For a just a flaky, peely nail, nail we have a volcanic base. Um, for a, just a soft nail, we have a seaweed base. So the seaweed has the protein in it. Um, and then there's one other one that I cannot remember right now. Um, the Gemini is a nourishing nail polish, so it's actually infused with vitamins, so as the client wears the product, it's actually constantly going to feed the nail. So it's just slowly going to release the nutrients uh, or the vitamins that's in the polish into the nail. Um, all our lines pretty much are breathable. Breathable, as I put in quotation marks. Um, the nail itself doesn't breathe, but all our products do breathe. So it allows for oxygen and water to penetrate to and from the natural nail or through the product. So it helps just with circulation um, off the nail, underneath for the nail bed itself. Also, any moisture gets trapped in our nail when we're washing dishes or anything like that, it will evaporate through the product. So we don't have problem with lifting or the problem with the product coming off or anything like that. And today, what are you showing us um, in this demo right now? So right now I'm going to do a baby gel extension actually using our Evo base um, just to show you what the strength can really do. Um, so you can use your gel polish to do a little, uh, our base specifically. Um, so the, space, the base specifically is actually um, a real true gel, so, but just a thinner viscosity so you can brush it on with the gel. Um, bottle, brush, brush. And, and are all these are soak off, correct? All of them are soakable. So even our bio gel line has a hard gel, um, it still soaks off. So I'm just going to insert the form. So the nice thing with the Evo line as well, if you're not really good with the form, is you can do a glueless tip extension where we actually use the Evo to help glue down the tip. I honestly 
personally ref, uh, prefer a form extension only because it mimics the natural nail a little bit more and gives you a lot more strength that way. Um, with a plastic tip, we're still dealing with plastic, so it's going to crack and break and become brittle. This we will guarantee to actually stay on the nail until the nail has grown out. So we'll just do little backfills on it. Um, so every single time the client comes back into the salon, just file the color off, file down to the clear, the little extension, and then um, fill in your regrowth area with your clear again, and then just redo your color to whatever color it is you want to do. We have glasses in as well. So I'm just kind of painting the gel on as well as going a little bit thicker to help kind of create an arch. The cool thing is you can take the class as many times as you like once you actually take it. So if you're going to be in LA or New York, she's from New York, take the class for free. We're really big on education and customer service. There's always so many of you people talk to. If you have a problem, what can help Okay, so I'm going to have you cure are you advertising it as vegan free or three free or ten free? What's tell us more about it? So our Evo line we do advertise as advertise as a ten free vegan hypoallergenic non toxic product, um, and that really is what sets us apart from most of the other lines out there. I mean, we kn know we can get five free gel lines out there. Um, the fact that we are ten free is really putting us above everyone else. Um, we are 100% vegan as well. Uh, there was a question on the red pigmentation, um, so all the red pigmentation is actually synthetic, so all of that is 100% vegan. The bristles itself is synthetic, so nothing in here is you know, made from animals or anything. Um, we're also animal cruelty free, so we're really big on that. The lady who actually makes the product is very big in um, recycling, being green, so the entire factory itself where the product is made in South Africa is a green factory. So we follow um, ISO stand standards and regulations, uh, we also follow EU standards and regulations and we are a medical grade as well product. Um, so everything is to the top as you can possibly get. Um, any certification or any claim that we make is backed up by certification. Um, so either ISO or EU or whatever the standard is that's currently out there. Um, so everything is backed up by certification. And then, like I said, we are very um, environment friendly. So our actually our biogel jars are everything is made out of recycled material. Um, the glass, of course, for the Evo bottles is recycled material. So everything is made from recycled material. So we're really big into ecosystem being good. Um, for where the factory actually is located, it's in a very small town called Klokalan. So Biosculpture actually employs everyone that lives in that town, just about, because it's a very small town. And then we give them the education that they need so they can go out and actually find other jobs. So uh, that's one thing that we also do is actually help create jobs and also help stimulate the economy by teaching them so they can go out and find real jobs on their own. We are the only suppliers of the product because we try and keep it professional only so we do not work through distributors at all. Um, so the product will be ordered directly from our main office in Irvine and then shipped across the United States. We use UBS and USPS. Um, training wise, if a salon wants to be trained, they would just get in contact with our head of education, which is myself. And then we help set up a training class depending on how many people it is that you want trained. If you want in salon training, we also do have just basic classes that we set up once a month um, in different states depending on where you're located. Yeah, there's one salon um, in Franklin, Tennessee, so you would travel everywhere. Is there a really high cost for training? Um, if you want to actually really do the in-salon training, it's a $300 in-salon training fee to send the educator to you plus your products. And then there is a per tech training fee depending on how many people it is that you're already getting trained. So say for example we're just doing two people, it's going to be 79 a person, but as soon as we start going four people to six people, it drops down from 79, 69, 59, all the way down to 45, depending on how many people it is that you're training. So um, where the salon is located, really get in touch with us and then we can work out a custom plan for the salon, what's going to work best for them. So this is just using the Evo uh, uh, base base gel wow everything that I just did is with just the Evo base um, you can do a baby extension like I said um, 
This will last pretty much until the nail is grown out, so we will go ahead and fill this, at least for a short nail like this, I would say fill it one time, next time I would soak you off and then you would have a nice little nail bed. So this is a good way for natural nail clients who or have really brittle or damaged nails or just really just genetically <laughs> poor nails, to, a way to have a natural nail treatment that is, you know, very simple and safe and to get their nail back, correct? Absolutely. So most of my clients were those clients that originally started and said, oh no, gel is not for me, nothing stays on my nail. Um, with the use of the Biosculptor products, they now all have really long, pretty nails by themselves and um, their nails have actually increased in strength from the vitamins that's in the product. It actually boosts the keratin in the nail and makes the nail stronger that way. So right now I'm just doing the final shaping and then we're going to apply a color as if it's a natural nail. And according to the name you can soak the salt, right? Yes. So everything is soakable. If you want to take it off, you're just going to break your seal on top because we're going to of course seal it up with a top uh, gloss at the end. So just break your seal, take a little piece of cotton, your acetone, put it on the nail, wrap it. Um, some of our salons that's like very vegan, very natural, they'll use a soy ba based acetone. Um, I do know that that works really well. The acetone that we use is a medical grade acetone as well, so it is actually infused with vitamins, so it's not as drying and damaging to the nail. Um, so it is actually a medical grade, very high, good quality grade. I wanted to ask, um, do you, are you using any sort of dehydrator or bonder prior to putting on the base coat? Absolutely not. So the only thing I did on the natural nails, we pushed back the cuticle. We used a 240 grit buffer, which is super, super soft, just to remove the shine, which is oil. Um, we wipe it with 70% isopropyl alcohol. And then that's it. That's all we really have to do to the nail. Um, you can do a water manicure as well, because some clients just really need it for their cuticles. It's not going to mess with the application itself, because it is a gas permeable product. So the water that's in the nail will actually evaporate through the product, so you're safe. Did you want to do it, Elsie? Yeah, I wanted to. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Amazing color. I love it. And two coats of coverage, right? Two coats of coverage. That's all you need. Put that in. It really depends on the nail type because some people feel a lot higher of a heat spike. It also depends on how long the extension itself is because the longer the extension, the more gel we have to use on top of the nail. Um, but yeah, what I've heard from a lot of my clients is compared to other gel products, it's a lot less than what they're used to. Um, we are actually coming out with a new LED light, which is going to be with the highest technology there is on the market today. Um, it's going to be a slow gradual cure, so the light itself will turn on like normal, but it starts at a lower intensity and then at five seconds the intensity gets a little bit higher and higher until it gets the full intensity to do a proper cure all the way through. So that's completely going to eliminate any heat spikes that clients are um, having. And then also um, just the way that the lighting system works in it, it's going to be probably one of the best lights out on the market right now. Our engineer has been working on it for over two years and is finally ready to say, okay, it's, it's ready for the market. So we're very excited about it and that will be coming out in April. Put that in. 2350. Your top coat is both a gloss and a matte. Is 2050. Our colors are 1826. Whenever you do colors, though, we offer a color um, Evo 12 pack, which is 10% discounted. So all 12 colors will be 10% off. Um, once a month, we do run monthly specials as well on some of the Evo colors. Uh, it's about six to ten colors every month that goes on sale at 10% off as well. 
wrong one, gloss. <laughs> So the last layer, of course, is your gloss. It's just going to really protect it from yellowing and staining as well as give you that really nice finish. You, you mentioned a, a top and a, a matte. So there's a top coat and then you have a separate for matte, correct? Yeah. Yes. So one is gloss, one is matte. So they're completely different. put that in. LED and UV actually. It will cure under UV. I did some testing on my own and it did actually cure. Um, the UV of course is two minute cure. LED is 30 seconds. It did have a better shine with an LED. Overall comparison UV versus LED, the shine was much better with uh, um, the LED light. So your top coat, uh, you wipe the sticky off that? Yes, it is a white top coat. Um, we do have a no wipe top coat as well, it's called Catalyst. Um, I personally am not a big fan of it. it. After about a week, it loses its shine, so I don't recommend it. Unless you're going to be doing a chrome, then absolutely use the no wipe top coat, put your chrome on, and then still finish with just a regular gloss. And that's that, that's all. Thank you so much.